If you are new to camping or new to having a camper or travel trailer or pop-up or whatever it might be, first of all, congratulations, very exciting. But just know that your setup initially for your first few trips, it might be overwhelming. It's going to get a lot easier. We try to keep our setup to the bare minimum. I mean, we don't do a whole lot because we just want to get out here and start relaxing. This is really Walter's way to recharge. He says it's one of the few ways that he feels like he can relax after stressful weeks at work. So we try to not go overboard with setup and all of that stuff. And it's really just about getting here, sitting outside, enjoying time together as a family. We try to keep it simple and we've gotten it down to, I don't know, maybe like 15, 20 minutes setup and then we're ready to just enjoy the camping experience. <laughs> State Park in Ohio and the kids are really excited because the lake is down there and we have a path right to the lake. So when the kids came here the first time, there was more of a rocky beach area, but we've had a good amount of rain this year, so it's pretty high. So hopefully they aren't too disappointed. Um, this I believe is site 85 and this is what they had last time. There's quite a slope from the parking but it's still a really nice spot. Walter just wanted to try the spot next to it instead because there's not as much of a slope. If you are bringing a dog with you camping, definitely think about having something for them to do when you first arrive at the campground because there's going to be so many people pulling in and if your dog is anything like Scooter, where is he, um, he'll need an activity. He or she will need an activity. So all I have today is these no hide chews. When I'm really organized, I stuff a Kong with canned dog food and then freeze it and that keeps him busy. But for now, he's just going to have this. There's going to be people checking in and they might have a dog and then he's going to get really excited. So this just helps keep him occupied. Nuts. Yep. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> 
time for the jobby. camper we just have this tiny coffee maker it's really cute it works out really well um, when we were doing tent camping I did pour over pour over is nice so it's just pushing a button and having the coffee made for you so all I do is because this is so tiny I just take coffee filters from home and I trim them down to the size for this one and then you don't have to try to find a special size coffee filter. So. If you stay at site 86 this is what the other side of your campsite will look like with the bathroom up on the hill and then you could utilize this space on the other side of your camper because there are no other campers over here. We are checking out the trail that is, it runs along the lake and is just behind our campsite. So we're going to walk a little bit of this now. We just had dinner. It's a very nice night, um, but a lot of rain is coming our way. So we're going to try to make the most of it for now. And then we'll see what happens tomorrow. about camping this weekend. He's been oh very whiny. So it's a lot quieter here than at, um, where were we last time? Salt Fork. Salt Fork. Not quite as nice of a campground, but it's a really good spot if, that we have. And um, yeah, and if you like fishing, this might be a good place to come. Um, they only have pit toilets. So just be aware of that. I don't think they have showers. No. No showers. No. So if you're a tent camper or you like to use the public facilities, even when you have an RV, then just mm -hmm. know a, that. We'll have to go check out the beach later. Yeah, they do have a beach area, so mm. we're going to go check that out. Watch the stuff. So this trail up here goes up into somebody's campsite. Okay, so it turns out they do have showers. to do laundry you could go in there <laughs> all right they have a pretty nice playground over there some swings
Oh yeah, it does. You see on the left, the, the camper is parked sideways. This is actually a spot. So I've never seen this before, but there are many spots like this at Wolf Run. There's our spot. We found the beach area. So we'll go check it out. Well, watch it stand. Okay, thanks, bud. <laughs> So there you have it. I would not swim here, but some people just left who looked like they were swimming. I think we both agree that this is not a very nice swimming area. This is like a, a no swim zone. <laughs> but it says swimming. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Is that where you think you're sleeping, Scooter? He says, dare me to move. Look. <laughs> I yes, need you my are. Aren't you hot? I need my flies. You need your flies? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be our bug catcher. I think you'll be a hot little frog. <laughs> a teddy to bacon. And you'll turn into bacon? Did you know bacon comes from pigs? Yeah. What comes from frogs then? Um, I don't know. Some people eat frog legs. Ew. Ew, Riz, right. Got like Yoshi. Good night, Yoshi. <laughs> Sleep well. Very peaceful out here this morning. I think you turn the turny thing too much. Oh no. Yeah. That's what Isabella thinks, but I don't think so. You gotta kinda keep it moving like it's a little like it's alive. Oh. I think it's all about sitting perfectly still. No. I think so, because the water moves the little uh thingy. The bait thingy. Are you going to try my method of just leaving it sitting still? Probably not. <laughs> it's a good thing we aren't relying on this fishing for breakfast. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> we know things about fishing. I don't think your reel it in slowly works. Uh -huh. All right, so it is raining and we're hanging out reading. What book are we reading, bud? Wow in the World book. The Wow in the World book. What is this one about? Oh, well, I think it's the only Wow in the World book published. It's a they, book. It's body. A, it's about the body. We are at the USS Shenandoah crash site number one. Early on the morning of September 3rd, the Shenandoah was met with a violent thunderstorms. Winds tore the ship in two, sent the control car plummeting to earth, crashing on this farm. This was the control car where it landed. The stern floated, valley less than one mile west. The bow remained aloft, floating 13 miles. Wow. Mark 
Remarkably, 29 men survived. Oh wow, 14 died. We haven't fed Scooter dinner yet, so he's taking matters into his own hands. <laughs> Spinal cord! You've got mail. As your personal postal service, we will deliver messages to and from your brain and your body faster than you can lick a stamp. Thanks for joining us on this trip to Wolf Run State Park in Ohio. Stay tuned for our next trip. We're going to Sleeping Bear Dunes in Michigan and we can't wait to share that adventure with you. So like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.